front of me here a new product we've added onto the tvtrade.ie website which is a digital multimeter by Filex. Okay, I'll just uh, quickly give a, a demonstration of what comes with it. Uh, we have a um, positive and a negative lead that both end in um, uh, points like this and we also have the digital multimeter itself. Now it comes in a fairly robust plastic holder which is supposed to be shockproof and there's also a stand in the back of it so we can stand up here. So we put the positive connection in here and we put the negative, we can put it either into this side here or we can put it into the common port. I generally use it on the common port here itself, okay? Now in the TV industry, multimeters are fairly widely used and for one specific purpose and that is for continuity testing. But I'll also use, show it quickly here uh, how to use this particular meter uh, for testing uh, voltage on both AC and DC. Okay, I'll quickly just go through here. Um, when I turn on this particular meter, uh, for continuity testing, what we want to do is we just want to check a cable to, find, um, to see the signal going from one end of the cable to another. Okay? So what I'll do is I just rotate this meter around to here, okay? and um, I'm just going to use one feature in this thing here right now, which is the light button on it, so it makes the display much easier to see. Okay? Um, and what we're going to do here now is, uh, when we touch these two cables together, voltage will come out one side and go through the other making a circuit. And when this happens, the circuit beeps. Okay? So you can see here, uh, that's, that's how we test continuity things. So a very common problem that we have in the satellite industry is where, um, imagine this cable is down in the living room. And we found this cable and we put a connector on the end of it. And then we go up to the attic and we say we, want, we have a signal, a cable running in from externally, either from an aerial or a satellite. And we want to connect this cable uh, to the point down in the living room, but we're faced with a whole mass of cables like this, and we're not certain which cable is the one that we need to use. Okay. So what we would do uh, at this point is there's a couple of approaches we'd have. We can do a trial and error where we simply go and see if we connect this cable to the back of the satellite box, for instance, and we run upstairs and we just go use this joiner here and we connect each cable one by one to the aerial or the satellite signal coming in. But this is a very slow and frustrating way of doing it. Um, and you know, obviously if it's in the attic, it's a, it's a very cumbersome task, okay? Uh, another way of doing it um, would be to simply come along and short out one of the, this cable here. So we short it out um, in a manner such as I see here. And what we would do is we would simply go to the far end and test the cables in the attic to see do any of these connectors beep when we, we cross them, okay? Now there's limitations to this in terms of if one of the cables is actually already shorted, it would beep as well. But based on the, on the theory that, you know, probably that's not the case, um, th this is a reasonable way to approach the problem. Now, instead of actually coming along and cutting the end off this cable and shorting it out and then repeating and having to put the connector back on, a trick that I often do is, if, especially if I need to connect a number of rooms to a television or a satellite system, is I put an F connector on the end of the cable and I come along and I screw in this F connector, F joiner here. And what I do is I have a pre-made cable here that's shorted on the far end. So I'll just show you, demonstrating this particular cable. Uh, I'll unshort this cable initially and hold it like this. And I touch um, one uh, pin here and the other pin here up to the uh, area like this. I'll just push these in for a sorry. And what we'll have here is it fails to beep. Okay? Now, when I short this cable, so I've, I've actually um, created a circuit here and I repeat the same process. You'll see we have a beep here. Okay? So what I'll do is I just simply actually screw this onto this cable down in the living room. And then I, I proceed into the attic and I, I one by one I test these cables. So I come along and I hold this thing here. And actually just by chance, and I hadn't prepared that actually, uh, that's actually shorted out. So what I'd normally do is I just mark that cable. And just to test that there's no shorts in the other cables, I can simply come along and make sure that none of the other cables beep. So come along here, that's no beep there. Repeat the process for the next one and work my way through all of the other cables uh, so we can be certain that none of the others have beat. And at this stage then, I'll be certain this is the cable coming from the, uh, the living room and I'll simply come along, get a joiner and join that uh, cable together and now we, we know we have the right cable found. So it's very convenient from that perspective. Now another thing here is, you'll just see on the front of it, we have a voltage um, DC and a voltage AC thing here. So what I'm going to show you is just testing the uh, DC voltage on this. So it has a range of voltages that we want to measure. So up to 20 volts, 2 volts, up to 20, up to 200, and up to 600. So we'll just set it to the 2 volt section here. 
what I'll do here, I actually have just a, a double A battery here. What we'll do is we just come along and we push the connector to one end and to this end. And I've actually wired it back up there, that's supposed to give me a minus figure. And it's a 1.5 volt. So if we're actually just a little bit clever, I'm not very dexterous here doing this, but if we click the hold button, we can actually take away the pins and the final reading that we have on it is actually being hold. Now I'm sure there's other things we can do with this meter, but you know, they're the basic ones that I've ever used it for. Um, so this is a fairly basic meter, but having said that, it, it comes at a very, very low price. Um, but you know, we use this regularly in our installing business and find it very, very good. Um, so that, that's it, um, beginning at the end, an overview of the digital multimeter.